We're going to start off this week's episode by looking back at Week 8 action in the OMFL. The Junior Varsities were the only team which played at home this weekend, so we'll start off with them. They did pick up the 36-6 victory over the Steel City Steelers, ending out the season with a 7-1 record and earning themselves a first round bye in the playoffs. As you can see, the Pee Wee Lions falling by a score of 34-22 by the London Mustangs. Phantoms had the bye this week, and the Varsity OMFL Lions maintain their perfect 7-0 record with a 36-6 victory over the Orangeville Outlaws. With more on how the Junior Varsities are preparing for the playoffs, we were able to grab an interview from head coach Chris Kent and DB coach Mark Adams. Mark, as the DB coach, you're going to have some tough tough competition in, this, in these playoffs, especially if you end up facing up against Orangeville again. What's your plan moving into these playoffs? Obviously, you have a lot of time to prepare. How are you getting your defensive backs ready for the playoffs? Certainly. Um, our, our, as the assistant DB coach, we've been installing these in place. It's just, um, just got some excellent coverages. I'm going to watch the program, so I don't know if I want to give it all up, but for sure we'll be ready for the defensive new installs. And, uh, if Orangeville does watch the program, we're, we're flat. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, so you're looking at some new installs back there. Uh, do you feel as though, I mean, a lot of this is hypothetical. We're talking, if, for instance, you guys do end up meeting Orangeville, do you feel as though they kind of caught you by surprise in that earlier meeting in the season there? That's definitely fair to say. We, we were surprised by a few things from them, but we've seen it now. We know what they run, we know how they run, and we've been preparing since that game for them. And you can see some of it tonight. But, uh, we're now, moving into next week, you do have that by the, uh, uh, the forfeit by Clarington. Advantage or disadvantage for you guys? For us, it, it, it's really an advantage. Our guys that are hurt, they're going to have a couple of weeks to heal up, to get ready, refreshed. Um, it's going to actually be, uh, be to our advantage. Yeah, when we come back, we have two full weeks of practice to, uh, to get ready for our second final game. Excellent. Thank you. Coach Chris, you finish out the season 7-1 and one here with a pretty big win against Steel City tonight. Now, unfortunately, Clarington does look like they've folded for the latter half of the season. You guys pick up a win there. You finish with a 7-1 and one record. You've got an extra week to prepare now. You might be in one of the more fortunate positions in the league because you don't have to worry about a game going ahead next week. You've got a full three weeks to focus on the playoffs. How do you plan on using that three weeks to your team's advantage here? Well, I just uh, told them we're going to take the first week off. Um, we have some kids that have some bumps and bruises, so we're going to let them get healed up. And then we're just going to get right back at it in those two weeks. We'll probably uh, add a few things because everyone, whoever we're going to face, has faced us already. So we'll uh, throw in some new things here and there and just really work on execution and uh, we just do our things. And there's, there's a pretty good chance that you'll end up playing that Orangeville Outlaws team again in the playoffs more than likely. That's the only team that you suffered a loss to all season. What's kind of the game plan preparing to play them again? We gotta come out not so flat. We came out flat in that game. We let up turnovers, which turned into touchdowns for them and they got a real early lead on us and uh, we just not need to recover from it. Uh, we gotta come out like we came out in this game. We gotta come out hard, we gotta come out fast and just take it to them and take away their game. And uh, I honestly believe you can do it. Excellent. Well, we certainly look forward to seeing that on the field. Rem reminder that will be in three weeks' time that the OMFL JV playoffs do start. Around the week of June 29th or so. so. We look forward to seeing you here. This week, we're going to look back at this week's previous action in London. All three of the OMFL teams making the trip to London to play in the TD Waterhouse. The Bantams picking up the 48-6 victory over the Mustangs. Junior Varsity also picking up a 44-36 victory. Varsity losing a heartbreaker. Two points, final score. London Mustangs 50, Cambridge Lions 48. Mustangs not being the usual powerhouse this year that they have been in years past. Cambridge may be caught sleeping on them and letting this one slip through their fingers. Looking ahead to Week 8 in the OVFL. Not a lot of action to report for the Lions. All three of the OVFL teams do have a bye this week, so instead we'll look ahead to what Week 9 in the OMFL has in store for us. 
We'll now look at this week's OMFL action. Really not a lot to report here either. As we mentioned the week before, as well as earlier in this episode, the Junior Varsities did pick up a 9-0 win over the Clarington Knights via a forfeit. But if we look here, it looks as though our Peewee Lions have also picked up a 9-0 forfeit victory over the Halton Cowboys. So only two games this weekend. As you can see, the Bantams will be playing against the Toronto Jets on Saturday at 5 p.m. And the Varsity Lions will also be playing against the Niagara Spears on Saturday at a time yet to be announced. They look to finish off their season with the perfect 8-0 record. So if you can, we'd certainly recommend and encourage you to go to either of these games in either Toronto or Niagara. That's all we have in store for this week's episode. Things will be ramping up in the next couple of weeks as we begin to transition into the playoffs. Remember, no home action whatsoever this weekend. If you can, please make the trips out to Toronto and Niagara to support some of our teams. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.